I was drafted first by Birmingham in the WHA, and I was going to sign with them. And season ticket holders had complained about the fact that a black hockey player was coming to town. And then the rumor came out as well that the team was only going to stay one more year, and the WHA was going to be defunct. So I ended up being drafted by Buffalo. I felt so lucky to come to a team where it was established and I got to play with some great hockey players. Gilbert Perot, and watching him, it was almost like watching Bobby Orr. And I just couldn't believe that I was on the ice with him. In my first year, I got to play in a line with him off and on, and it was pretty lucky. Gilbert Perot, he always bought lunch every time we went out anywhere, never had to pay for anything. He felt like he was the leader of the team, and he was with some other good leaders. And the money part, he spread it around because he was making a lot more than everybody else, and he deserved to be making that kind of money. McKechnie shot, he scored! Tony McKechnie ties the game at one off. In 20 years of hockey at that time, I'd never played against another black hockey player. It was another three years before Grant Fuhr came in. And I was out there in some situations in Philadelphia and people were screaming at me, Pittsburgh, Atlanta. But at the same time, it kind of drove me to be better and be consistent. When Rico left, uh, because I was a left winger, I felt the responsibility that I needed to step into that role. And I went out and scored 37 goals that year. So that was my mindset that I was trying to do what Rico did and be that left winger goal scorer that he was. So I've got a program for my first year, and it's got the price of the orange seats at being five or six bucks, and then the golds were down below, which is where the owner sat, which is very interesting for the owner sit right behind the bench. But that was nice to look up and, and just see the, the Knox brothers and the other owners, eight rows up behind the benches. It was them being part of the game. They score! McKechnie! I was very much accepted here in Buffalo, not only by the fans, but the teammates and the management. It felt like a family. Visit the Blue Cross Blue Shield Fearless Family Zone on game day to record your own favorite Sabres memory.